Well, hello. It's me, Deborah, for art. And um, I'm a little scared for art today because I'm doing something a little, a little hard, a little hard. I figured this will give you something to do throughout the week and to just keep practicing it and trying it. So I'm a little nervous, so you might be mad at me. Please be kind. Please be kind. I don't even know if I can do it. So we're going to try it. We're going to try it. So as I said, I'm Deborah. I'm from the Center for Enhancing Abilities. I'm out of the Bergen location, but everybody is welcome. So if you don't know the rules, oh good, I see somebody's on Facebook. So that's always a good sign for me that because I'm, I'm deep dark in my basement which is my crafting room. So I'm doing a different angle. So it must look like I have this huge mansion, <laughs> but I don't. My mug today is, I think I showed you guys this, is the, the history of art. I like that one, I like that one. It's a little big, but I like it. So welcome, welcome. Um, today, uh, we're starting off our day, our Facebook day, on with art, with me. So, as I said, something a little challenging. I'm going to uh, go over the rules a little bit um, and give some people a little bit of time to jump on. Because it's, it's, it's a tough lesson. It might be a bit strange. So, I um, kind of my shirt is a little bit of a, a hint at what we're doing. And I'm gonna to try to do it same time here. And I've got something else here. And I've got a lot of stuff going on. So hopefully I'll work it out. I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? It's gonna be okay. I mean, what's the worst gonna happen? I guess I could make a painting that looks like that. I guess it turned out okay. I don't know. So welcome, welcome. As I see people coming in, hey, I think we got Terrence on. So awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give um, a little shout out in roles of, in, in kind of the order, well, no order, of people that typically come on that sometimes I miss. So I'll wait a few minutes because sometimes people jump in. Because uh, we got a good little group that comes in. So this is the first hour of exciting CEA programming. There's other stuff I think going on today, any meeting with Morris and um, uh, their YouTube page and our YouTube channel as well um, has some videos. I'll be putting up yesterday's videos uh, up as well today so you can see that. And there's a cool um, writing assignment on Google Classroom, okay? So there's a photography assignment and a writing assignment and then the science. So we've had like three so far, one a day. Your daily task is up, it's on American history. It's not long, don't get scared. Do it, look at it, it's worth it. It's pretty cool. It's like, it's like a couple of minutes of your time. What else are you gonna do? Look at it. It's a tour of, uh, I've already forgotten, uh, the Wallace House. It's a tour of um, a historical place, a very old house. Go through. It's some dude. He's pretty nice. He gives you a nice little history. So I think I plugged everything that I could plug for the time being. After this, it'll be Lunch Bunch. I'm trying something new. It'll be on Zoom and Facebook. So just have patience. Uh, then there's music. And then there's game show night on Zoom and Facebook. All right. So join us. Join us. Hello, Jamie. And I believe Kara might be on. I don't know. So I just wanted to give some shout outs. I know generally on an everyday kind of basis, we see Katie, we see Dave, we see Jamie, we see Kara, we see Adam, AKA Jeter, we see Terrence, we see Steven pops in from time to time. I think TJ's watching, David J. Hey Christian, I was getting to you, man. Jessica in spirit. She always looks at, uh, uh, I've got my assistant, but he's got a conference today, so he won't be in uh, for that. Uh, also, we I think from time to time I see Abby and Alex and Stephanie and Hannah and Doug and of course Christian and Becky I've seen too. Hey, I just I just read your name off, Stephanie. So I wanted to make sure 
Call you Jeter. Yeah, I know. I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. So what do we need today? We got a good core group. So let's begin. As I said, this is going to be hard. I think maybe. I don't know. You guys might be really good at this. We're going to try a portrait. So our topic, and if you see me looking up, I'm not looking up at a ghost in my basement. I'm looking at my, uh, my cue cards. I'm, I got a whole setup, if you could see it. So today is an advanced drawing class. Don't let that scare you. Meaning that we're going to be working on some skills. Uh, so practicing. So I want you to be kind to yourself. That may not be perfect the first time you do it. And that's okay. It may be perfect for you. It's never perfect for me. We're going to, be, we're going to draw a face. And faces are really hard to draw. So we do it from time to time in our different art classes. So we're going to work on it now. Because, hey, what else do we have to do? <laughs> so we're going to draw a face. Maybe get a mirror out. Draw your own face. Um, or you're probably looking across somebody you've been looking at for weeks. Draw their face. But we're going to have a take on it. We're going to do um, a modern uh, color block um, technique. So it, we're not going to be drawing um, a realistic face. So we're going to be drawing something very bright and cheery. Hello, hello, Kara. Good morning to you. I have you on my usual list. You've been so good. So as I said, I'll be shouting out from my list from time to time because I've been missing some of you. Uh, and, and I feel bad. I feel bad. I see that you're on. And I know you guys, we're not your only choice for entertainment and learning. I know you pop from class to class, so we appreciate you stopping by. So today we are going up doing a color block project. It's a very modern art type of concept, especially when you see it, when I show you. Uh, and you could draw it anyway. Uh, hello, Christian. Thank you for asking. I'm okay. I'm okay. I think this week's going to be really tough for me because I ran out of uh, jigsaw puzzles, and I don't think I'm getting my next one till next week. I have one more, but it's one of those mystery ones that you don't know what it looks like, you know, so. Simon's good. He's back to school. He's got a conference with the teacher, so he might be popping in and out, but I'll make sure I get him to help me out in the next time. But thank you for asking. I hope you are well. I hope everybody is well. Okay. So what materials do you need today? We are going to be using one of my favorite materials, and I think uh, a project for t uh, tomorrow um, Rachel will be using as well a uh, different technique I'm assuming I I'm not assuming I pretty much I guess I know looked up what she was using but you do not need to use my favorite ones because some of you are saying oh Deborah I hate those so we are going to be using chalk pastels I'm going to be using chalk pastels so one of the other things that you learn about me is my favorite supplies and chalk pastels are like one of my favorite things to work with because they do a lot of work you're still wondering, what on earth are we doing with chalk pastel? So I'm going to go through the material list, but I am going to show you what we're going to do. We are doing a modern color block face, okay? Now, true, she doesn't have any hair or background. That is up to you, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, please do. Please do. I'd like to see the puzzle, because that's, that's what else do we have to do is put puddle, puzzles. Um, so we're working on, she, this is a meditative, calm woman, uh, maybe because I was watching the Star Trek uh, episodes with, uh, I forget her name, uh, oh goody, goody, I'm very excited, I'm very excited somebody else is excited to learn. So we're going to be working on a color block face. So if you do not have chalk pastels, don't worry, I'm going to go through. So we're working, you can add your background later, but we're going to be working on the basics of a face and we're going to be working on how to use uh, chalk pastels to do a color block. Okay, and then I'll adapt it for crayons as well. Okay, so this is what we're working on. Uh, maybe some of you try to make her smile. I never, I'm not very good with the pout. I'm always like, so, um, but we're going to be working on a face. Okay, like kind of a funky face. This is what you're going to start with. You are not going to make these lines in pink. I did it so you can see them. But this is what you're going to be learning about how to make, okay? So this is what your basic design is going to be. And then you're going to add color kind of all over the place. And that's the color blocking. I like color block artists. We're going to give some form to our color block work, okay? Instead of just having blobs. Uh, I think I was going to use Helen Fallon. Oh, I forget her name. She's got a funny name. Um, 
I didn't want to do just do blobs. Another day we'll do blobs. Today I wanted to give your blobs a form and it's a face. So that's what we're doing, okay? So your supplies that you are going to need for today, and it's Deborah, advanced drawing, uh, modern art, color block, working with the brightness. We need brightness in our lives. So you're gonna need some kind of paper. It can be any kind of paper you can scrounge up, okay? And if you're doing a journal, um, which is kind of cool if you have a composition book or a notebook. You can just be using that as well, okay? So I don't care if it's lined paper. It's whatever you got in the house. I'm using a drawing paper. Uh, mine's a little bit bigger, so to help us see. Um, and I have mine up on one of my easels, so hopefully it won't fall and crash. Um, so you need some type of paper. could be printer paper. could be note paper. It could be... I don't know, it could be any kind of paper you got handy. Go out, you know, could be your tax return. No, don't do your tax return or your fund refund. Don't do that. So any kind of paper, any kind of paper. Because it's tax day, which not really, it's been postponed. Thank goodness. Okay, so some type of paper. You're going to need a pencil, a regular pencil. And I really do recommend... An, uh, an eraser. Sometimes these like scratch our paper or they don't work very well or they leave lines. So, you know, it's, it's an optional. I didn't say that, but a regular pencil. Um, if you want, you can use a ruler if you're a little like me, a little OCD with lines. Uh, not that it's necessary, but you can. You can keep it handy. Uh, as I said, chalk pastels. This is one of my favorite sets because uh, they're all really nice and new. Sometimes when I'm working on other types of um, um, works with chalk pastels. You'll see me break them and break them into smaller pieces. It doesn't matter so much here. You can use them longer if you have them that way. Maybe you just went out and bought a new set. Um, I know I was just recently at CVS. They do have like certain types of clays, pencils, markers, uh, papers there. I don't know if they have chalk pastels or oil pastels. You could use oil pastels if you really wanted to. You could. I don't have a problem with it. It's whatever you got. Um, crayons is the other way I'm going to be working. You could use markers. I think, I think for this project, I'm more, if you're not using chalk pastels, because chalk pastels give us this blending option. Um, and that's what some of you people hate about chalk pa pastels because they get all over the place. I don't mind, but if you do, you can use a crayon or uh, a colored pencil. Okay. I think a marker is too... Like once you do it, it's kind of set, you know, it's, it's very bold and bright and it's, it's, it, it doesn't, it's not as soft. We want maybe something, uh, we want bright, but maybe a little bit soft. So, um, there's that. I also recommend if you're using chalk pastels, I didn't write this down. I don't know if I wrote this down. Paper towel. And if you don't like it, I'm sure some of you have gloves. If you're comfortable with sparing a glove, uh, go ahead, use a glove. Okay. Or a, um a paper towel. If you're working with chalk pastels, I also recommend don't wear white, which I was doing last night. Uh, roll up your sleeves. Maybe have an apron and we're good to go. We got our corp group. So let's go. So welcome, welcome everybody to advanced drawing, modern color block art to give it form and give it a face. This is what we're working on. So our first step is that we're going to do is we're going to want to draw a face. And when we draw a face, most people might go ahead. And if you do this, it's totally chill. It's, it's okay. But when people draw a face, they draw a circle, they draw some eyes. Okay. I'm not the best artist. Okay. And they might draw the face like that. We tend to put our eyes very high up in our forehead, okay? <laughs> Which, in fact, isn't the way your face is designed. I'm going to take my glasses off, so don't control yourselves or, you know, hide if my face is too ugly. But if you look, your face has a definite um, shape and proportions. And the reason why I'm using a ruler over my eyes uh, is you'll see, uh, you'll see a common thread. My eyes and my ears match up and my nose, my mouth and my eyes, everything kind of matches up. Sorry about that. Don't like people to see me without my glasses. Ugh. So 
It's just like, don't bother me till I've had my cup of coffee. So here we go. If you draw your face like this, do not be upset. I'm not upset. This is, you're the artist. You can draw your face any way you want. But we're going to try to learn a skill. We're going to try something different. Like I said, the reason why she looks a little chrome dome, a little odd, and if you notice, I have my hair back. I've got a big forehead. Some of us, you know, have smaller. But our hair clips on top. So you can add that later on. But she's kind of like this floaty face in space, you know? That's what, that's kind of what we're working on, okay? Give you nightmares. So, so we're going to work a little bit on making a face. So the first thing you're going to do is get your area prepped. If you have beautiful white tablecloth and you're using chalk pastels, please don't do that. Cover it with some type of newspaper. Chalk pastels get all over the place, okay? And they're going to get on your hands too, okay? And if you don't like that, you can use a crayon. Your colors won't blend as much. Your colors will be much more separate in the face, and that's okay. I think it'll be really cool, so we're going to try it. Like I said, this is modern. It's color block. Color block meaning blocks of color. That's all it means. Like if you look at mine, I just have a blob of red and orange. I have a blob of green. I have a blob of blue. When I pull it back and I blend it, our brains start to put it together and it becomes a face. But it's just blocks of color and that's okay. So let us begin, yeah. So we're gonna start by drawing the shape of your face. Um, it could be your face, it could be the person that's sitting over there. It could be, could be anybody's face, anybody's face. Generally, most of us, or may, I guess this is my wish that I had a very thin face. I kind of, I'm kind of, I don't know, kind of square. Every face is a different shape. So we're not really a circle. Our faces aren't perfect circles. Some people have circular faces. Um, typically, most of us aren't like a perfect circle. We get a little narrow at the chin, at the chinny chin chin, and we're a little bit flatter on top of our head. Some of us more than others, um, but you know, maybe we wear very heavy hats. I don't know. I have kind of a flat head. I need to touch up my color and get a haircut. Okay, so the first thing we're going to draw is think about the shape of your face. Now, I'm using a regular crayon, I mean crayon, a regular pencil, and that's how I'm going to start, okay? I always sketch out what I want first. So here I went back over a black magic marker, and you can do that. I'm not going to do that for mine. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to work off of this. This one will just be pencil. This one I used so you can really see it. And I'll explain why I have this pink uh, cross on my face. All right. Gertie. Shoo. Shoo. So uh, my cat's here. So um, what we're going to do first is tell the cat not to touch my camera. She's such a ham. Say, say hello and goodbye. All right, he should be back. Don't worry. Don't worry. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our face. So I think, and it's going to take up a big part of your paper. I've had some people when they draw in class, they make this little face and this big piece of paper. This is an opportunity for you to, to make a big face. All right, it's, it's probably bigger than my own. I got a pretty big head. So, but you maybe want to leave a little space underneath the chin for like a neck and maybe a little something for up top for background. So it's going to take up a pretty big part of your paper. Okay. So I don't want you to do it like a little face. I want you to do a big face. So I'm going to come in and, oh, I have a very long face. I'm just going to let it be. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Gertie. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me come in a little bit. Um, and so I, I want to get it a little darker so you can see. As I add the color, yeah, you can see that. You can see that. It's a little delicate, but you can see that. Okay? So I drew, what's my kitty's name? Becky, I had you on my list of people. I just added you. That is Gertie. And for those of you that don't know Gertie, Gertie was found at the Bergen Center as a 
like uh, less than a month old, I think. And she was crawling into a sewer grate and somebody got her and nobody wanted to take her home. So now she lives with me. Three cats now. So, but Gertie's really cool. So she'll come in and say hi a lot. Gertie is one of the coolest cats. I have Agatha. She can't make it up onto this table. Poor Agatha. She's a little, she's a little large. And then Westchester, who knows where he is. Uh, so, hey, I think I see Will coming on. Will and Janice. Hello, hello. So, like I said, chime in if you don't know the rules. It's me, Deborah, working on advanced drawing. We've got all different kinds of people. I think we got Katie. We usually get Dave. We got Kara. We got Jamie. I think we got Will. We got Becky just chimed in. We have Christian. Sometimes I see Doug and Hannah and Stephanie I know was on. I wanted to say hello. Good morning. I want to say hello to Jessica because she looks on these at YouTube. Did I say Jamie? We got Jeter. We got Terrence. We got a lot of people. I think Alex sometimes chimes in. Abby, I think, chimes in. So welcome, welcome. I think I got my shout outs, but feel free. Put in comments and I do check, but I don't see all the comments all the time. I don't know why. I don't know why. So I drew a shape. Yeah, she's got a pointy chin. I don't know why. And she's got a big chrome dome head. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. So you can see my shape of my head. I, I, I really make pointy chins. I think that's kind of what I want. Okay, so there we go. Now, what we're going to do, if you want, you can use a ruler or if you really want a very specific line. I would not jab this line through the paper because eventually you might want this line to disappear. All right. But the reason why we do this, and I apologize for giving you my back, you're going to put it about halfway down your face. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Uh, this is what happens when you buy a cheap easel. Um, you probably can't see that here. Let me see if I can get it a little darker. Yeah, and there you go. And then you want to do it probably not up here, about in the middle of your head. About in the middle of your head. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay. All right. So I've got like a cross. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I have that cross. So our other piece here, I did it in pink so you could see the difference. See how I did that? She's the CEA cat. She is. But now she lives with me and nobody at CEA cat, uh, CEA, <laughs> CEA babysits her. She's quite a troublemaker. She is, but she's a good cat. She's a good cat. She caught a mouse yesterday and then let it go. So I'm a little mad at her. Um, but because we live by the woods. Okay, so you're drawing your line across your face. This is going to be your landmark. I know it's a little faint, but I think you can see it. I think I have the lights on bright enough. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the details, the basic details of our, our face. The other details, the really fine details that we would have is going to be done through color. Through color, this is, I mean, you could put a lot of details in if you want them to have a scar or a tattoo. I mean, go for it. It's your face. You can do whatever you want. I kept it pretty simple. You're going to see like certain details of eyelashes go in at the end. Okay? So let's start adding a few things to her face. So we drew the oval. We have the lines. And that's going to guide us where we're going to plop in all these pieces on our face. So the first thing I typically like to do is I like to put the ears in. I don't know why they anchor me. You know, at least you should be able to hear what's going around you, right? If you can't see, you should be able to hear. So around where that first line is, I'm just going to draw like a little squiggle. My ears aren't perfect, all right? I don't know if you can kind of see them. I'm going to draw them a little darker. Yeah, I think you can see them. They're not perfect. Whoa, she got excited. You know, it doesn't matter. They could be little C's, like a little C shape. Boop, boop, doesn't matter. I really, in the original drawing that I copied from, didn't have ears. It was actually one of these very side poses. And I couldn't get it. It always looked weird. She always looked like she was like a piece of taffy that was pulled. So I said, you know what? Let's do the full face. Who wants to look at half your face? Let's look at the full face. I want to see all of you. So I'm putting the ears in. And your ears kind of, if you look at your own face, right, they kind of go around where your, your mouth is. Isn't that fascinating? When you really look at it, your ears are about your eye line. 
you know, there's some really cool things about your face. Just get a mirror, take a look. There's a reason. I don't know why, but whatever, it's how it works. So we have our ears, we have our oval, we have our line. I did mine on pink, and now we're putting some ears in. Okay, this is not perfect. If you went and took a different class, they'd probably tell you all the things I'm doing wrong. That's okay, you know? We're just learning, and that's what's cool. Now, what we're going to do is, I then like to kind of put the nose in. You're gonna put your ears and your nose in. So for our nose, I'm gonna come in uh, and I'm gonna make like a little a little line there. Boop, boop. I have a really fat nose. I have a really wide nose, like blah. Um, I don't like my nose, but oh well, it works. I have very sensitive sense of smell. Um, you've got like kind of a little curve. If you have a point or you wanna make a pointy nose, that's totally up to you. You can do with it. And then, and then we have like the nostrils. Um, doing all things we're not supposed to be doing, right? Touching our face. Um, we're going to add those in too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a line. You see how I have that? That just gives me kind of an idea of how wide my nose is. I just want to get an idea. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do uh, another kind of two little lines. And I'm going to bring it in closer so you can kind of see. Right? I'm not the best facial drawer, okay? I'm not a fantastically trained artist. Hey, Dave, what's up, man? I gave you my shout out earlier, okay? Your nose, if you want it just to be one, one line like that, it's totally okay. You want it to be a triangle, it's okay. You're, it's your face. You're in charge of it, okay? It's whatever you want, all right? Hey, man, what's up? So we're just making a face. It's advanced drawing with Deborah. So color block, modern art. Color block, modern art to make this kind of floating head, okay? So we've got our circle. We've got our lines to orient our face. And we put in our ears and now we did our nose. So now we can hear, now we can smell, really important. If it works, it's always nice to see. It is. So let's put in eyes. Now, instead of us making open eyes, and I notice I have really bad bags. Nothing I can do about it. Not sleeping. But our person, she's going to have this very peaceful look. Or she's probably like home with her kids. God, give me the strength to get through. Serenity now. Her eyes are closed. Her eyes are closed. She's just... She's just closing them off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw two little like C's, like little little crescents or little U's, I guess. Yeah, it's a U. Not too much. And where they go is obviously on both sides of the nose, but you wanna make some space. I'm gonna be doing a lot of weird things. A along your nose. That's why I like to make this little bit of a line. Because if you look at your face, you've kind of got this line coming up. You're gonna know my face too well. So we're gonna make, uh, uh, kind of on that line, we're gonna make some, some U's. See how I did that? So the person's kind of in reflective thought, okay? Okay, you can make them really big if you want really big moon eyes. I think mine were pretty big in this one. So this is most likely, if you haven't figured it out, it's a lady. Um, this does not mean that you have to draw a lady and I'm not promoting gender stereotypes. It's whatever you wanna do. Hey, Katie. Um, but I did it because traditionally makeup and things like that are, are more flamboyant makeup or, you know, we associate more feminine, okay? But it doesn't matter. You could do whatever, okay? But that's, it's gonna have a lady vibe to it, the way I'm drawing it. I'm a lady, so I'm doing it. So maybe you're a dude and you're drawing a guy with some cool color blocking, okay? All right? So we've got this face coming along, and now let's make the mouth. Now in order, some people just like make a little smile. Mine actually looks a little bit more dude-ish, looks more like a guy. I forget what this is called. This has a name, and I think we had it in Trivia Night. There's this little piece here. When you look, I don't wanna get too close because you know, I haven't had waxing, but um, there's, a little, there's like a little lip here. See how we have that? See those two little lines? See those two little lines there? That kind of makes your lip go like that, right? I forget what that's called. If anybody, Caitlin's not on, I don't see her. Caitlin would know this. Caitlin would know this. Or somebody Google it. 
Um, I want you to draw two little lines, not too big, not too big. They're definitely not going to be longer than the nose is wide, okay? They're probably about about the same <laughs> width, uh, the same length as maybe the width from the center of your nose to the edge of your nostril, unless you have really big nostrils. But um, So draw those two little pieces there, all right? Draw those two little pieces there. Okay? My person has a very long face. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the lips, okay? And lips, we usually, everybody has different style lips. Now, right now, really big, you know, you get the vacuum. I don't know what these people are doing. Are they, are they paint? This is a great project if you love to do contouring because this is the project for you. Um, I'm going to draw a kind of normal, regular lips. I don't know. There's no such thing as normal. Some people have very thin lips. Some people have very big lips. It's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. It's your face. Um, nobody's ever happy with their own faces. Have you ever noticed that? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of make the little, I'm going to make a little V joining those two little spots. See how I did that? Hey, Alona, I forgot to add you in my group. I'm trying to get a list of regular shout outs so I can give some shout outs to people. So, cause sometimes I miss you in comments or you pop on and I turn my back and I didn't know you were there. So we're uh, doing advanced drawing. So enjoy, enjoy and get your materials later on and try it later on. Cause I know you're really good at this stuff. So I made the two little, like a little V, a little V. Okay. And I'm going to draw, um, some lines down. My person's a little pouty. Okay, it kind of looks like a mustache now. You know, how big is your mouth? You know, if you look, it's about halfway <laughs> uh, between your eyes. It's up to you. If you want a really big mouth, you can. Different people have different size mouths. But generally, they're coming in around about, I don't know if you could see it, you know, probably about halfway of your eyes. So that way, you're looking at your face as a whole. And then, you know what? I'm going to give this person really puffy lips. Wow. Right? Yeah, there we go. And there's my lips. There's my face. This is the almost. I forgot one thing. And it shows you how. Hey, Abby, I think I had you on my list. So I'm glad you got to shout out. So I got to see you today. Sort of see you. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing your words. Same thing, right? So we're doing advanced drawing. We're learning about a face and we're going to turn it into a color block drawing. Okay. So I'm going to sneeze guys because it's dusty and I have allergies. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sick. I'm okay. Um, so um, paper, chalk pastels if you have them or <coughs> sorry, um, or pencils, crayons are fine. So here we are. There's our face, but there's one thing missing and you really don't realize how much it really centers and orients your face. And that's eyebrows. Now, uh, I have always had really thick eyebrows. And then they, um, in the 80s, which was awesome because people had really fuzzy eyebrows. Ooh, Katie, nice. Um, and then all of a sudden eyebrows kind of like disappeared. They have beauty trends. And right now the eyebrow has definitely made a comeback. They're like really big people doing all this stuff to their eyebrows. That's when I'm old. So I'm starting to lose my eyebrows. As you get older, you lose your eyebrows a little bit. Oh, well, oh, well, they grow the four hairs you have just keep growing longer and longer. <laughs> and then you lose it wherever you want it. So yeah. All right. All those years of plucking. Now I want them back. Okay, so we need to put some eyebrows in. Your eyebrows, there is a, 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 a philosophy when you do eyebrow videos. If you get pencils out, you, they should be a certain width. Don't look at my eyebrows. They're totally poorly quaffed. So Stephanie, oh, thank you, thank you, Stephanie, thank you. I definitely have you on my regular list of people. I know you're popping in and out. You're really busy, so... I thank you for coming in. So we're going to put the eyebrows in. They're kind of like up here. Uh, 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 whoop. I had a little bit of a, an eyebrow malfunction. Now, how long you want your eyebrows to be? It really depends. Maybe, maybe my lady has uh, uh, longer eyebrows. They're definitely, uh, they're not really even. Um, my eyebrows. 
So I'm just gonna take my eraser a little bit. But you can see, you can see how I, I have my eyebrows. You can do just one line, like, like I did here, just so you can mark it and know that's where you're gonna be putting your eyebrows. Or you can have them a little bit thicker. But there is a face. It looks like a human face. Huh, who knew that we could do that? And as I said, I know at the other centers, you guys must have done this. I know we've done it as well. So here we go. We're halfway in. Let's start. I hope my art class doesn't run over. I'm, I'm sorry. So let us start adding the color. Okay. And this is something you can work throughout the day. So now you're going to get your other products. I'm going to move some of my stuff so you can see it. And we are going, I'm going to be working. I'm going to try to work in both. I have crayons here. And I'm going to be working on chalk pastels up here so all the dust will fall down. So the first color we're going to start with is green. Yes, I chose a green face. I don't know why, but I did. So usually when you work with chalk pastels, you don't use them like a pencil necessarily where you use a lot of, you know, digging in there. I'm going to use actually kind of the edge. See how mine's a little flat? Okay, if I had a very small piece, I'm not going to crack these in half. I can, I can use the flat edge. Some people know. But what I'm going to do is I am going to use it a little bit like a crayon, but I have a nice little flat edge, and I'm going to use a soft, delicate touch. So the way I'm going to work is I'm going to start to add um, um, a, a little bit of, of the green. So I'm going to put it in my forehead, and I'm going to put it in my chin a little bit, and, and um, I'm going to be coming back maybe a little bit, uh, coming down my nose. So the way I'm working is I'm going to start, see how I'm moving back and forth, back and forth. See how I did that? And if you're working with crayons, you're going to be working in like, you could also kind of, you're going to be working in the same back and forth. I don't know if, um, if you can see, but you're going to start to just you're going to not fill the whole thing in right away. We're going to keep adding color to it. So, and I'm going to add a little bit, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of, a little bit of green here and a little bit of green here. Yeah, she's going to have a little bit of green there. She's going to have more green. So maybe I'm just adding some color in here. See how I'm doing that with a crayon? I'm just adding some green. I'm just doing nice, soft kind of colors just to get it in. See, it looks terrible. When you do contouring, you know, that's the way it looks. Then I'm going to start to work with, and this is when you really want your paper towel uh, or something like that. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some yellow, some yellow. Uh, and just so you know, for the record, I don't, I don't really wear makeup anymore. Okay. I wear lipstick. That's about it. Okay. And I didn't even put that on for you guys today. Sorry. Um, so we're going to add yellow. The yellow is going to kind of create these nice highlights around the face. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around, um, we're going to go kind of under the eyes. See how I'm doing that? Just kind of doing some kind of crazy, just back and forth. She's going to look very strange and maybe right underneath her eyebrow. Right. I usually do a little light color to pop it up. I wear glasses, so what's like the point? And then what we're going to do is she's going to work on her nose, okay? Your nose is going to be yellow and the piece underneath. See how I did that? Yeah, she looks a little strange. She looks a little strange. And I'm going to also use yellow for my crayon. So I'm coming in here, uh, in here. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second, okay? So there's the, on the crayon, all right? And I'll try, maybe I can have some pictures of these. I did take some pictures so I can have them, you can follow along. So there she, go, there she goes. Notice I haven't blended anything yet, right? Okay, don't worry. Crayons, you don't need to. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the reds and oranges, ooh. So we're gonna take a, a nice strong red. I'm gonna take a, got a little something in there. I got my red. And we're gonna do the lips and the eyes. I mean, technically you really don't want red eyes. I mean, most people do not wear red eyeshadow. It doesn't look good, I'm just saying. But for here, it just adds such like, I don't know, like fire, right? It just adds like, wow, you know, those color blocks coming right at you. That's what we want. We want pop, 
okay? Maybe not that much pop, but you know what I mean. So what we're gonna do is we're going to outline, see how I did that, the eyes, okay? We're not giving her pink eye. And then maybe we're just kind of adding a little bit of extra red in there. Whoops. Uh, technical difficulties, buy a more expensive eyes easel. All right. And we're also going to maybe, let's add a little very soft, very soft. Let's give her a little blush. Let's give her a little blush. I like that. And then we're going to outline her lips and fill them in. Boy, my lady really got some, she's like, she's really, really, she's really, uh, I don't know what you call it, but she's got really big lips there, which is nice. I wish I had that. So I'm going to do the same thing on my crayon and I'm going to show you, maybe I put a little red lips, actually with the crayon, it looks really nice. Uh, and I'm going to come in and maybe I'm going to give in a little bit there. See how that works? still looks pretty it looks pretty color blocking color blocking not necessarily blending so much just blocks of color okay now i also want to add a little orange i want to add a little bit more warmth something in, in the middle of that yellow okay that yellow and that red and i'm going to be adding it into the eyes and that's kind of like right on the eyeball itself right so right on your eyeball area or wherever, it don't matter. You could do it wherever, All right? So there she is. She, I, you know, hope she's not going to a wedding. I'm not the best uh, makeup artist here. So we've got the reds and the oranges. Now we're going to add the blue. Yes, yeah, she's blue like a Smurf. I like Smurfs. They were big. Now, what I recommend is you're going to use two different blues if you can, if you have two different blues, and even maybe a third. I'm going to use a light blue. I have a kind of a nice, pretty light blue pastel. And as you can see, my pastel is a little flattened, so it's not so much of a point. I don't want like sharp, distinct lines. I want more of like a, a shading, so to speak. So what we're going to do is with her blue, we're going to add it to her head, to her cheeks, around her nose. We're going to be filling in a big part of this face. So as you can see, she's going to turn blue. She's going to turn blue, not in a bad sense, in a romantic sense. I don't know. All righty. So I think it's better if she was then if she was green, maybe. I don't know, because then she might be a reptile person. So, which is nothing wrong with that, which is nothing wrong with that. So as a matter of fact, I see that actually I need more green coming down into her forehead. Sorry. Okay. So I just need to make a correction. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Let's add the blue. So I'm going to start up. I'm going to go up onto her face on the forehead a little bit, right? I'm gonna come in onto the sides of her face. Now, if you notice you're picking up on your chalk pastel colors from other ones, wipe it on your, um, if, if you don't like that, just wipe it on your paper towel or your sleeve if you're like me. So I'm just kind of coming in, if you wanna do the ears, coming in under the mouth, not so much the nose yet. And I'm gonna do the chin coming around the mouth. Okay, so there we are. I'm gonna to start to draw it. Uh, I don't have a light blue crayon. Oh well. So I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna show you what it kind of looks like on um, with crayon. And just bear with me. She's gonna kind of, just kind of coming in, drawing on her face. And you're not going to have for your crayon, you're going to have to go back and fill in some stuff. Because over the eye, I don't really want the blue. See how that's working? See the blocks of color, but they make sense when we look at them from afar. This looks frightening. This, this looks crazy. Um, yes, I, I do realize that. You might say, Deborah, I think the crayon looks a little better. We haven't blended yet. Have some faith. As I said, it, it, it could go really bad, but that... That kind of scary person that looks like a demon uh, is going to turn into this, which still might look scary. I don't know. So here we go. Now we're going to add a little dark blue, or you can use purple. Sometimes purple works really well, or a purpley color. We're going to add maybe a little bit more contour. 
So maybe here, maybe there coming in. She's got nice cheekbones. Uh, maybe I want up there, maybe there, something like that. And I'm going to take a, another blue and I'm just going to kind of make my lines for my nostrils. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So I just kind of made a little bit of line for my nostril. I'm not going to put my eyebrows in yet. Um, so if I were working with my purple on my crayon, maybe I'm going to come in here come in here a little bit underneath there see how i'm doing that see how i'm doing that i got a little bit there and i might just make uh some crayon on my nose see how i'm doing that see how you got that going now we got all the colors here now there's a fun part so if you don't like getting your hands dirty and these are very dusty you're gonna wear your glove if you like Hey, Caitlin, Phantom of the Opera. It looks frightening. It does look frightening, Caitlin. It will come together. I promise. I promise. And Caitlin, I have a question for you or anybody else that wants to. Uh, somebody Google it. What's this little piece below your nose to your lips? What's that called? I forgot. So somebody looked that up for me. Oops, I almost fell off my stool and you would have all had a good laugh. Um, sorry to disappoint people. So at my age... A fall could mean a broken hip, so I, I take that very seriously. So anyway, let's get back to this. Let's start blending. If you are working with your crayon, what you're going to start to do is I want you to look at it and see where you need more color. So I need more color in my eyes, so I think on my crayon I didn't add the orange to my eyes. So while I'm blending and you guys are working, there we go, start Filling in more of the color, light layers of color. Now, let's see how this turns out. What I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start with the nose. So when I blend, I, I, a lot of times I like to move my finger in the direction of the lines of the face. So you see how I'm doing that? So that's where I want that to go, okay? Maybe I want to add, I want to start blending my eyes see how that's coming out okay i'm working in that nice little u shape okay there we go you're gonna want to clean your hands a lot so i'm bringing down maybe i'm working on her cheeks i'm working on her cheeks there see how that's coming around see how that's blending she still looks frightening she still looks frightening oh dear so now i'm gonna start to blend everything together okay with my finger if I know there's some contour yeah it looks like a demon or something that I got on this one okay blending it in blending it in Oop, person's drooling okay blending it in blending it in blending it in okay coming in just really blending it and I think because I made such a pointy chin, the person looks really kind of scary and doesn't have any hair. So from you guys looking at it from behind, this is what it really starts to become, a color block, a very modern piece. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the eyebrows. I want to blend it once together, okay? And now I'm going to add the eyebrows and, and I'm going to add some more detailed work and it'll start to look more like a face, okay? So I'm taking, you could take black. If you're working in crayon, I think it'll work well. If you're a person that would, I would use a softer color. Um, black just, I mean, she looked like she had eyebrows from, I don't know, they were too thick. So I'm gonna use like this really dark blue to kind of add my eyebrows, okay? So I'm gonna kind of make my eyebrows there and just shows you how difficult it is that I can't do that. So see how she's having a little bit of an eyebrow? And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do the eyes, okay? And then I'm gonna one more time come in and do her nose a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna kinda add a little detail to her lips a little bit. So as you can see, it's hard to do that uh, on the side. Hey, David J., I think you're on. So I'm going to blend this very delicately with my finger 
to try to keep the lines, okay? Trying to keep a little bit of the line, but I'm softening the line, okay? See how that's coming on? This actually looks like a man. I think this looks like a dude more, all right? So see how that's working? You got a face. You got this modern color block face. I mean, this, and it's interesting. This looks more like, I don't know, it looks like a man maybe. This looks more like a woman. And I've done this. It's the same artist. Bye, Stephanie. Have a great lunch. All right? So what you're going to do is you're going to start to drag your color, drag your color, really highlight your colors. And then you can go back. And sometimes uh, if you add nice white to certain areas, like maybe I want to, uh, you can't see this there. This white's terrible. But I'm adding, this is like you're contouring a little bit, right? You're, you're adding your contouring. You're adding some of your things. I'm going to add a little bit more blue coming down. See how I have that kind of going around? To soften that green, give a little bit of stuff going on. If you don't have white, you want to come in and I could do a little yellow. Can add a little bit of colors here and there. You can really kind of go nuts. I'm going to add a little bit more on the cheeky cheeks there. And I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Blend that in. Really tough. This is a really tough one. But you ultimately have a face. And if you want to draw more attention to your face, get your darker, like to, to kind of, yeah, see how, oh, I have a little background there. Yeah, it looks like my person's giving a kiss. Maybe I'm going to add a little up the top, okay? And then you can come in and you can add... Uh, yeah, the person definitely looks like they're giving a kiss now. Okay, so let me come in. Let me show you. She definitely looks like she's blowing you a kiss, right? Now, that is a color block. We just have bouts of color all over the face. But because of where we added them, and I'm going to show you my half completed, Moana the Musical, is that who it looks like? See, this is a different kind of vibe than this. This is just as cool. So if you did it with crayon, please email it to me. That's totally cool. The idea is we're making blocks of color and we're putting them in different placements to pull together um, a picture, a shape, a form. A uh, form would be 3D, but, but this is what we're doing, an, an object. Here, working with chalk pastels, we can make blocks of color. You just saw it. I just laid on blocks of color and I pulled it together. And yeah, she probably needs a little something there. But uh, be careful with that. Unless you like your eyebrows really close together. That's a thing and it's cool. But the way we pulled it together, you can see the face and the shadow and the contour all comes together. But it's just blocks of color that with chalk pastels, we just pulled them together to make a face. So the other thing that um, you can do with this is you can add a little detail work, okay? So most people, not all, not all, uh, most people have um, eyelashes or something like that. You can't see because uh, I don't wear mascara anymore. I wear glasses. Heck, I can't even get to a beauty parlor. I mean, what is happening here? Um, soon you might all know my real hair color. <laughs> the horror. Um, um, so we're going to add a couple of details. This is what I say. If like some of you want to add, you know, tattoos and stuff like that, go for it, you know. I'm really not a big fan of, t of face tattoos. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just not my thing. But um, what we will do is we're going to add some eyelashes to this person. So if you are working, I like my easel. 
Um, also, I, I had a, something as you're, you're catching up or you're working on this. You know, some people um, have asked me like, oh, what are the supplies that uh, we need for our class? This was something that was going on with me and one of our, our members. And what I try to do, uh, the, really the main class that you need this for typically um, seems to be the art class. Because it helps you. It's a lot of fun that we do it together. Um, and that's, I love that. I love that. Um, sometimes for me, because I teach multiple classes or I don't know what I have on hand, I may not know the Sunday before the week, you know, how I send out a, a schedule on Sunday and I may not know. I know um, other art teachers do and that's really awesome because I've taught multiple classes or multiple art classes and I'm trying to figure out, I, I'm weird. Sometimes I, I try to figure out what my mood is. I'm not that much of a planner. I, I go by the seat of my pants. So what I'm thinking of recommending to do is, yes, if we have art teachers or it, we're working in science or any other type of class, and we can let you know what the product is. Cooking's a little tricky because it depends on what we, what we might have on hand and if we could get to the store. So you'll just have to bear with us. I typically use kind of similar types of things that you should, you might have in your house. Art, definitely. When in doubt, show up with your basic art supplies, your crayons, your markers, a pencil, a ruler, paper. Um, you know, make sure you have watercolor paints or some kind of craft paints on hand. Those are typically the things, if it's any of my classes, do not worry. If you didn't get it, you can do it. Just get your kit ready uh, to go. Um, so some art teachers are definitely going to try to give you a list beforehand, because sometimes they're experimenting and seeing how things go. Um, but what I was thinking, I usually do the list, the, I try to do the list the night before and put it on Facebook, but like a thousand things go up on Facebook and you lose the feed. It's hard to see it. So, uh, I'm curious if anybody likes the idea about 15 minutes before we go live, we give you, we, we once again, post what the, the materials are. I think that might be a good idea. I don't know. Give it some thought. Let me know. Let me know. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going as I, as I learn. So for you guys working with crayon or colored pencil, you can do both. You're filling in this, this face. So you're continuing. I really don't, you could see some white, but we're really filling in this face. Okay. The more you go back, the more you fill, the more layers you can use multiple greens, multiple blues, Maybe you've got other stuff kind of coming through. You're just, now she looks like a lizard lady, but that's okay. Lizards are cool. Now to add detail, um, I find with certain markers, you're going to use, I, I use a, a pencil, uh, a nice pencil. Um, if you're using crayon, you might be able to use a marker. It might be cool. Um, I like to go over. So maybe what I'm doing here with my lady's eyebrow is I'm adding a little bit. I'm not touching this person's eyebrow. I kind of like it. Um, but the eyelashes. So I like to use a pencil and you're going to use a pencil too. So I'm going to show you. I think when you start to add the eyelashes, it gives it a nice, warmer feeling, less alien. So um, I'm going to do that. So your eyelashes typically, this is an, a closed lid. So all the eyelashes are fanning down. And if, especially if you use those whatever mascaras that help it grow or thicken, you're going to start shorter. Typically the way I guess the model of beauty is your eyelashes are smaller at this part of your eye and then they fan out and they get longer over here. Um, so that's kind of what we're gonna do here. So if you were to see this one, that's how I did it. What I did was I took my pencil, I traced the line a little bit and then I started to do these little, these little, little, um, little strokes, little strokes with my pencil. So the same thing, um, I'm gonna come in, maybe I'm just gonna kind of make a little bit of a line a little bit of a line and then and I have that really nice line from my uh, pastel work and I'm just gonna do just kind of little brush strokes little 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 strokes with my pencil and I'm gonna show you in a second not too deep just like little feathers and I'm gonna come in 
And I'm gonna do, wow, she's, that's kind of weird. Uh, I don't, I don't think her eye is that wide. You tap, depending on how big your eye is, whoa, you're, she's getting mad at me. Um, you won't have eyelashes all the way over here, and I think that's what I did a little bit. So I'm coming in, and if you can see, I have little, little, little pencil lines. Start with just the little ones first. Always go, always start a little small, light, light, just a little small, back forth, back forth. They can get a little longer at the edge. That's kind of like your base layer. And then <coughs> you're going to come in and you're going to make a little, little longer ones, little longer ones. See how I did that? See how I did that? Yeah. You want to get that foundation layer of uh, eyelashes in, and then you can come in and you can really play with them, right? Uh, 15 minutes before is good. Katie likes that. That's what I'm going to do. So I think that's good. So I'm coming in. Maybe I'm adding a little long one here and there, you know, and just kind of, and then I'm going to get longer and fuller as I get to the edge. And I'm trying to make them a little darker for you. See how that's coming in? Now, my weird freaky lizard, lizard person looks more like a lady the more I add longer eyelashes, but men have very long eyelashes too. I know my husband's eyelashes are like 10 feet long. I mean, they're super long and super thick and I have like nothing. So, um, so there we go. And you can add your, you can, you can use your pencil if you want to add some, uh, some definition if you want, but definitely with the eyelashes because it's a kind of a nice soft look. Okay. And you can come in, you can do your ears and for your background, that's up to you. You could do a nice watercolor background. So it's just like this floating head. You could add some hair to it. You could add brown uh, or blonde. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can do that a little bit. So um, I'm just adding in. So I'm just adding in. I don't know. So just kind of adding in kind of makes it look worse. Now it looks like Frankenstein, but you can play around and add um, a background. You're going to want a neck unless you want a free floating your neck. Look where your earlobes are. Look at a mirror. That's kind of where your neck is kind of coming down. And as you play with this, it really starts to look like a person. It's a person and that's all just through color block work. Okay. So I want to thank you all for getting messy with me in chalk pastels. I want to give you a lot of credit for watching something that's a little hard. I mean, but you totally, oh, my crayons are falling. So let me just kind of go on. Okay. Let me go on and let me just show this to you. Right? Here is your color person with crayons. Different effect because it doesn't blend. It's just these basic blocks of color that you can keep adding and still looks cool. You can add a background. You can add hair. You can do whatever you want. Different, different tool, different tool, but still, and let me see if I can add so we can see this. Let's see if this will work for you. If you're working with a crayon, you'll definitely be able to work a little bit more with a marker, I think, with chalk pastel. There's two different ways to do the same type of project, and they're both gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're funky. It's a high-tech skill. You've got time. Work on it. Keep practicing. Um, and please, 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 what you're going to do is you are going to not write on your mug. Oh, in permanent marker. You are going to email me. Uh, I'm just going to give you the top part. You're going to email me uh, your, your drawing. Trying to write backwards. 
which is really hard to write backwards. There we go. <laughs> I usually have it. Okay, that's supposed to be an E. It's C as in cat, E as in eagle, A as in apple, the number two, the word Bergen as in the county, at gmail.com, okay? I wanna see your beautiful freaky people, your color blocks. I wanna see what you do and, and where you take them. Do you give them a hat? Do you give them hair? What do you do? I'm just gonna have these kind of weird freaky heads. Uh, you know, hey, some people don't have hair and that's cool. So, send me your pictures, as always, or you can put them in the feed. Uh, this video will be available also on YouTube, so you can follow along as well, so you don't have to scrounge for it and look for it in Facebook. Um, and you can use whatever you like to use in terms of your materials. Today, 12.30, Lunch Bunch, 2.30, Music, and 6.30 is Game Show Night. So, show up with your family. That might be a lot of fun. So I really thank you all for being open and trying something new with me. And we will see each other later. Goodbye. Don't forget to show me your work. Have a great day.